Alright folks, get ready for one of the wildest Animal Kingdom tales you'll ever hear. Today we're diving into the fascinating and somewhat grim world of spiders, specifically focusing on the male spiders and their rather extreme mating rituals. Imagine this, you've just had an amazing date, the sun is setting, the mood is perfect and everything seems to be going your way. Everything went perfectly, and you're feeling on top of the world, you're thinking about the future, maybe even planning your next date. Now, for the shocking twist right after your romantic moment, your date turns around and eats you. Sounds like a horror story, right? Yeah, that's the bizarre reality for some male spiders. These tiny creatures live in a world where romance can be deadly. But why on earth would a male spider willingly let himself become dinner for his lady love? It seems counterintuitive, doesn't it? It all boils down to ensuring the next generation. In the spider world, the survival of their offspring is paramount. You see, in the spider world, it's all about survival of the fittest and giving your offspring the best shot at life. The male sacrifice is a strategic move to ensure his genes are passed on. For some species like the black widow or the redback spider, the male's ultimate sacrifice serves a crucial purpose. It's a calculated risk with high stakes. When a male spider sacrifices himself he's actually giving his lady a high-protein meal. This meal is essential for her to produce healthy eggs. This meal provides her with the nutrients she needs to lay healthy eggs. The better nourished she is, the stronger her offspring will be. In turn, those eggs are more likely to hatch into strong spiderlings. It's a cycle of life that ensures the species continues to thrive. It's the male's way of saying, take care of our kids. His sacrifice is a final act of devotion to his offspring. Plus, there's a strategic element to it too. By becoming a snack, the male keeps the female occupied, reducing the chances that she'll mate with another suitor. It's like the spider version of putting a metaphorical padlock on the relationship. This ensures that his genes have a better chance of being passed on. The male's genes get a better shot at being passed on. It's a high-risk, high-reward strategy that has evolved over millions of years. Now you might be thinking, okay, but how does this work in practice? How does a male spider actually go about sacrificing himself? Well, during mating, the male spider initiates what's called a copulatory somersault. This move is both fascinating and morbid. He literally flips himself into a position where the female can easily munch on him. It's a daring move that seals his fate. It's a move that's both daring and, let's be honest, pretty grim. But it's all part of the spider's complex mating ritual. But here's the kicker, not all male spiders meet their end this way. Some manage to escape right after mating, some are clever enough to escape right after mating, it's a high-stakes game of love and survival. The males that do become dinner tend to be older or weaker. In essence, they're making the ultimate sacrifice for the greater good of their genetic legacy. It's a selfless act that ensures the survival of their species. So the next time you see a spider, take a moment to appreciate the sheer drama and intensity of their love lives. These tiny creatures are playing a high-stakes game of chance every day. And while it might seem gruesome to us in the world of spiders, it's all part of the circle of life. Who knew the world of spiders could be so intense and downright fascinating? Their lives are filled with drama, strategy, and survival. Remember, nature is full of surprises, and sometimes the tiniest creatures have the most epic stories. Thanks for tuning in. Catch you next time with more jaw-dropping facts about our incredible world.